Uh, guys, so Paul Bates here, and today I really want to do a video about this uh, hard to top top that we installed over the weekend. Uh, but before I get started, I really want to say thanks to my twin brother Pete. Without him on all these little projects, it would be hard. He comes in, uh, he, he drives like 800 miles, he comes in, he helps me, but there's also other people that help. But, you know, that's, that's a big commitment for him to do that. But also, in the end, you know, I really, really would like to give him this boat, you know, in the next couple of years after me and Bev are done with it. So it, it's good that he comes out and helps and he knows the boat as well as I do. He'll also, on the loop, he'll be with us. Okay, so with all that being said, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. We sure appreciate it. And uh, share it with your friends, uh, you know, so that we can uh, get the channel growing. About this uh, top that we installed here, you can see it up here. Um, uh, and I want to go over everything and I want to grade it from a 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Okay, so to start with, let's talk about uh, the communication skills and actual buying the top. So I would give them about an 8 on that. It was a little difficult to get, the, get everything going, but once we got it going, uh, everything went fine. Communication. So after I uh, bought the top, after I um, uh, paid my down payment, uh, I want to talk about communications and what it was like with the company. I went with a 10 because after I got the top, uh, I spoke with the gentleman there that uh, does it, and he was on it. He called me every single time. So for the communication, we went with a 10. No, no doubt about it. Shipping, uh, shipping of the top, I'm going to go with a 7. And it's not because of the actual shipping, because the shipping was great. Uh, when Jason called me and said, hey, your top shipping, it was here three days later. You can't beat that. Where they get the seven on the shipping is what they used to ship the, the product in here. And you'll see right here, I mean, there's just sharp and jagged corners. Now, we were super careful. Nobody got hurt. But you could easily get cut on one of those corners. So that's why I've got to go with a seven on the, uh, on the shipping. Not from the actual shipping. The shipping was good. Um, I would give them a ten if it was all that was. Okay, so parts. Parts, I'm going to go with a six because there was parts that were in cut correctly. There was parts that were labeled incorrectly. And... Uh, Overall, I'm used to having a CNC. All my parts are CNC cut. These were not. They're, they're, he cuts them on a table saw and probably uh, band saws the corners, which is fine. You don't see any of it, so it doesn't really matter. But I was just expecting a little more, uh, you know, crispness and all that stuff, and it, it wasn't there. And also, uh, hardware. I had plenty of hardware so far. I haven't put on the kefir yet, but and I could be short a few of these little uh, tech screws, but all in all, you know, parts... Uh, you know, like I said, it's a six. That, that's what I'm going to go with. These tops aren't for everybody, but, you know, those that want to put one in, I think the overall quality of it was, was halfway decent. Install instructions. So this is important. The install instructions, I went with a five because I was expecting like a CNC cut parts and CAD drawings, and there's nothing like that. They gave me like a four-page uh, piece of paper that's, you know, that really didn't, they didn't have this bar in, in theirs. And the center bar was a little tricky um, and there was no real setup on how that goes together. But we're pretty good installers and we figured it out very, very quickly. And once we did, it, it, it went fairly quickly. But between their written instructions and the instructions they give you on YouTube, uh, definitely a five. There's no doubt about it. End product. End product, I'm going to go with an eight. It's everything I expected. Um, I've worked with this uh, material before in the past so I knew what to expect uh, and I actually like the quality and everything like that and nothing's perfect nothing's perfect um, ease of install ease of install I went with a nine uh, it was pretty easy to install once we got it going also I highly recommend that you use three people to install this top uh, because uh, it was just a much easier especially when you're on the water like we were we were on the water you know, in a moving boat, basically, and uh, so that's what we had to deal with. A couple of problems that we had, uh, I'll show you some pictures right here. Uh, some of the parts weren't cut correctly, and I literally had to cut them in place, and I just used a skill saw, a small skill saw with a, uh, a good carbide blade on it, and was easily to cut. But there's no instructions telling you to do that, you know, but you just got to kind of have live that, and you got to kind of see that and do it. Also, uh, I had to put a couple tech screw, extra tech screws in. Those bend a lot, so I had to use a couple tech screws. There's nowhere in any instructions, nowhere in any videos telling you to put that tech screw in there. But without that tech screw, 
I wouldn't have got a good seal and a good bond with my silicone uh, edging when I did it. So because of those, uh, that's why I'm going to get it. I'm also going to keep you up to date here because I'm going to add some cross supports. I'm going to put solar panels up here and, you know, an anchor light and an antenna and a couple different things on top of this thing. So I'll let you know how all that works out. And we'll also keep you up to date. At, you know, every six months I'll do a little video on a, a recap and let you know how the top's holding up. Um, one of the things I think in a, in a hard downpour, I think it's going to be a little bit noisy. Um, so, but we'll see. I haven't experienced any of that. Tonight will be our first storm. Actually, they're predicting one tomorrow. I'll come out here and see what it's like. Uh, also, another thing that I noticed uh, is the condensation inside here. The whole inside of the top here was wet from condensation one morning, but uh, and I'm not sure once I get the enclosure on what's going to happen, but that, that could be an issue, and I may have to deal with that. And, and uh, There's different ways I can deal with it, but that's just something uh, just to give you a heads up on it and what to expect. Uh, for overall, for the company, you know, I'm going to give them a, a, a probably a good solid 8. Uh, but you got to remember, I'm hard, I'm crucial, I, I don't give anybody 10s, it's just 10s for anything. I didn't do it in my reviews when I was uh, working for a big company, I just, I, I don't, nobody's perfect, uh, and neither are these tops, and, and, but overall, the company did a good job, and I'm happy with the product, so, and I'm glad I did it. I won't, I was thinking about putting one on the back deck, but I'm not going to do it, I'm going to go with a regular hard top, because eventually, if I kept the boat, I would put a dinghy up there, some storage and stuff like that, so I won't do it. But anyway, that's just my review on the hard to top and a little uh, uh, help with the installation for any of you guys that are thinking about putting one that, one of these on. If you have any questions, you got any comments, please leave below. I'll get back with you. Uh, you I'll give you my mo phone number and I'll talk to you before you order one. Um, the company was pretty easy to work with, like I said. Anyway, Paul Bates, peace out. Love you guys and thanks for watching. Appreciate it.